Okay, which recording? Do you want to say welcome back or on me too? Either one. You go ahead. Welcome back to Zephyr Travels. I'm Randy. And I'm Diane. And this week we're coming to you from inside the Zephyr Travels studio, someplace we, you haven't been to before. But unfortunately, we're still here in the Northeast and there's a snowstorm outside and everything's white and blanketed with snow. And we didn't feel like going out in the Airstream and freezing today to bring you this video. So we're going to do it from inside our studio. This week, we're going to talk a bit about our travel budget. That's right. We are not full-time RVers, but we do travel for extended periods like a full-time RVer. So last year we were in our Airstream for a total of six months straight. Um, and we kept track of all of our expenses. And we wanna share with you what it costs us to do full-time travel with our RV. And so that you can get an idea, if you're thinking about doing this, how to set up a budget and, and understand where your expenses are. Right, and how much you want to possibly budget for a month of expenses. Right, exactly. So just to clarify a couple of things, what's not included in this budget is our home. You know, we did include that. That's, you know, outside of the travel. And we didn't really include expenses like our cell phone. Even though we use our cell phones when we travel, I didn't put that in there to the budget. I really kind of concentrated on um, particular items which would be common to travel. So let's get into the budget. The first category of the budget is camping. And we decided to put a budget on our camping of an average of $35 per night. And now that doesn't mean that every night's gonna cost us $35. We know some nights are gonna cost us more than that. But the idea is that we would try to budget and try to find campgrounds that were around $35. And if we ended up having to go to a campground that was more expensive than $35, then we would try to offset that maybe by boondocking or something. Then the next category is travel, and this is for fuel, tolls, and et cetera. So it's basically the cost of driving the truck around, towing the trailer to wherever we're going. And that actually is about 34% of the uh, budget. I didn't mention it before, but the camping is about 30% of the budget. And so we, we estimated at about $1,200 on that, and you're gonna find that we're, gonna, we're not really a good estimate on that one. So we'll see how that looks. So you have to stay with us. Okay. Our next topic is dining out, and for this, and groceries, dining out and groceries. And for the past, or the previous six months that we were traveling, we had a budget of $300 per month, which we did find out was low. Low. Yes. And that's $300 for dining out and $300 for groceries. So all our food, $600 a month. Yes. The next category is entertainment. And this is the, what we would spend to go to museums, to uh, theme parks, or anything we do that we film and, and bring to you guys in the video. If we spend money on that, this is where it is. And so we budgeted $200 per month, and that's a 6% of our budget. Let the, the next topic would be personal expenses, and that would be... It, it's really anything that we buy kind of for ourselves, whether it's right. gifts or maybe they're, you know, like you go to get your nails done or something like that, th right. that would okay. fall into that category, haircuts and such. Okay. And then the last category is other. And that is basically anything we couldn't fit into the previous categories um, that we track the cost on. And those last two categories are $225 a month and about 6% of the budget. So how did we do? Well, let's take a look at camping. You can see on this chart here, um, our six months worth of camping. And four of those six months, we were at or below our budget. But two months, we went over. In Southern California, January and February. Right, we found that Southern California camping was very, very expensive. Um, most of the parks that we found around the Los Angeles area were $60 a month, $60 a month, $60 a night or more. And even the state parks in California were $65. So that ended up being some very expensive camping, especially considering we spent at least three weeks around the Los Angeles area, actually a little bit more than that. Right, um, the two most expensive nights, two, three most expensive nights when we were at Disneyland. Right, and those were about $85 a night. 
more like a hundred, wasn't it? Around there, yeah. Yeah. It, it was. It was some more expensive. Yeah. But then you had the convenience of staying close to Disney, so right, it worked so you out. Right. You could walk, and you didn't have to pay for parking. Right. Right. This week's adventure, we are talking about our recent trip to Walt Disneyland, and where we stayed at the Anaheim Harbor RV Resort, and that was a kind of an interesting campground. I wouldn't even know if I'd call it a campground. It was an RV park. Yeah, it was an RV park. The reason we stayed there, it's only about a half a mile from Disneyland. So it was very convenient. Yeah, we could walk to Disneyland and we would save the parking um, by doing that. Um, so that was one of the nice things about that, that campground. It was about $85 a night, so it was a little bit more on the pricey side, but you're saving $35 a day in parking. So that kind of balanced it out a little bit. Yeah. Yeah, and we didn't spend a lot of time there, really, just the nighttime. We spent the days we were there at Disneyland. Yeah, and so we spent four days at this campground, and one of the neat things about this campground that I liked was the fact that we could see the fireworks right from our trailer at night. Right, right, we could see the nightly fireworks that Disneyland put off. Yeah, they fire them off right along um, Interstate 5, and this campground was just on the other side of Interstate 5, so they just shot up in the background. It was really kind of cool. But overall, for the six months traveling, our average uh, nightly costs were $38. So remember we said we put the budget at 35. We were just a little bit over that. <clears throat> and that was because we found some places that were less expensive. And we also boondocked a couple of times and was able to save a little money there. Called the Virgin River Dispersed Camping Area. And so the Virgin River is like just over here. And this is just basically desert camping. You know, and it's not the prettiest part of the desert. The ground is pretty rocky and, and such. But we needed this spot because my stepmother lives in Mesquite and we wanted to see her, hadn't seen her in a year. So we pulled in here, um, spent a couple of days, and last night we met my stepmother and her daughter and had dinner with them. So it was worthwhile to come here and, and stop and see them and camp here. Fuel. And as you mentioned, we kind of miscalculated the fuel budget. And what we what I had done is I calculated the budget based on the travel to get to the out to the west. And so I overinflated the budget for most of the months. But and that really brings up a good point. When you're calculating a budget like fuel, you really need to calculate what your driving times are going to be or what your driving days are going to be and when they fall into the month. So going forward, I would really look at you know, if I'm going to be driving out west, I'm going to raise the budget for that particular month. But the time that I'm out there, I would probably keep the budget a lot lower because the costs aren't as much. Right. But the other thing we ran into, too, fuel prices went crazy while we were traveling. Right, right. And my, we were in California when last spring when fuel prices were going up. And we were paying well over $5 a gallon for gas. And it's one place we actually paid six fifty a gallon for gas. So... Cost of fuel, you know, went up considerably um, in the time period we were gone, and that really wasn't calculated in the budget. And we pulled into the next largest town, which had multiple filling stations, and gas prices were outrageous. We just stopped for gas here. This is probably the most expensive gas we've seen: six forty-nine a gallon. Um, we've kind of decided we're not going to fill it. We're going to just do about a half a tank, which should get us into Nevada. And then from there, we can pick up some cheaper gas, hopefully. Well, the over $6 a gallon was we were in the desert. Yeah. And we didn't, we didn't, we made the mistake of not filling up before we entered the desert. And there was like one gas station while you're driving through the desert. What are you going to do? Right. You need gas? You need to buy. Right. Yeah, they had you, um, and they, they their prices were accordingly. I mean, other places, we the day before, we were buying gas at, you know, a dollar less per gallon, about five fifty a gallon, but it was six fifty a gallon in the desert because there was right. no other places to go. Right. And we only bought enough to get us to the next place. Right. Um, but well, one thing that I did take a look at was our average cost per mile is about 40 cents. So I would take a look at what I'm calculating on driving and then future budget and then calculate that 40 cents per mile 
for the travel time and then throw in, you know, like a couple hundred dollars for fuel for the months that, or the time that we're just staying in one place. Because then we're only really filling up the truck, you know, once a week or less than that. Food. So like we said, we undercalculated our budget for food, you know, a total of $600. Everyone knows that food doesn't, you can't eat for $600 a month. Um, I, I'll take the blame for that one. Um, I don't buy as much food as Diane does. If I would have got her input on it, I'm sure I would have done a lot better. Plus, on this last trip, we have to say that we did eat out at different restaurants more than we usually would. Right, right, exactly. But going forward, we're going we're gonna to adjust this. Um, the, the good thing is that we, when we were under budget on fuel, that extra money went towards food. So it balanced out fairly well. Entertainment. The, the entertainment budget we did pretty well on, except for buying tickets to go to Disneyland. That was expensive, and that, that accounted for that spike in January that we had. Right, right. We've arrived in Anaheim, and uh, we're heading into Disney Village for the evening, just to kind of check it out, starting our Disney adventure. Yep, maybe do some shopping. Yep, maybe do some shopping, but we don't need any stuffed animals. Oh, all right. Do we? I think, so. <laughs> I think that's an inside joke. The last time we went to Disney, we bought uh, a Mickey and a Minnie, and it rode around the Airstream forever. I mean, we have a teddy bear that's been riding around the Airstream this time from the Vermont Teddy Bear Factory that we need to find a home for. Yeah, those are expensive, and they're expected to go up, so. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So we're glad we did it when we did. Um, and we would, you know, we knew we were going to spend money to go to Disney, and we knew it was going to be expensive. So it was. It was calculated in to what we expected. It wasn't really put in as a item in the budget. Probably should have in the future. Right. How did we do overall? As you can see here, what I basically what I did is I averaged out the cost over the six months to what an average cost per month was, and then I the blue line calculates the um, budget for that. And as you can see, you know, camping was pretty close to being on budget. Fuel was definitely under budget. Um, food was over budget and the other ones were pretty close to where they should be um, the, the entertainment and uh, personal and, and other kind of fell in right where they should be so overall i think we did okay on our budget don't you yes i do yeah on average we came in on budget of 3500 per month is which is what we calculated but we were off by certain months with fuel and food and so adjusting for that in the future, I would definitely increase the fuel budget. Um, I actually would decrease the fuel budget and adjust it to by the miles that we are driving. And I would increase the food budget um, up a bit because it's definitely food costs a lot more than I thought it did. <laughs> right. No matter how careful, and we don't eat out extravagant. I mean, we're talking fast food restaurants. Right. So. Well, that's about it for our inside look at our monthly travel expenses. I hope you found this interesting and helpful. And if you have any questions, please leave us a comment. We'd love to hear them. And we definitely will answer them back to you. Right. Or if you have any suggestions on how you set your budgets up and what works for you. Right. We'd love to hear that too. If you like this video, what should they do, Diane? Please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to our channel, Zephyr Travels. Hit that bell for notifications. We post new videos every week and we'd love to have you follow along on our journey, which is coming real soon. Right, provided the weather cooperates. Right, right, right. We should be back on the road in another uh, couple weeks. Right. So until next time, we will see you when we are on the road. Yep. See you down the road. Bye, guys. Bye, everybody.